How do you say that? D-U-E-R-S-T. Did you remember Durst is the worst? Ah! Durst the worst, bitch! 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 Aye, 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 how's it going? This should bother you. I think it's pretty sad that you're sitting here supporting people that Love the dog, hate the baby. Hit and you're very angry for like. They're supporting I think it's really sick that you aged this me. You just aged this me. That's really disgusting, by the way. I know she did it, but you just did it too. You ageisted somebody? Maybe I should do a hate crime against you. Yikes, careful, careful. Wait, wait, what doesn't count? I can't hear you. There's no age discrimination under age. You'll love animals and you murder children. Oh, oh, okay. Well, there will be, and then I'm going to sue you. Oh, there will be. Okay. Good one. Y'all love the song, and you'll murder children. Ageist, yeah, that's not what Ageist, sexist. Micro. You guys even kill babies? You're disgusting. Microaggression. Signs, hitting people. What's next? Disgusting. Did I miss something? Damn. Who'd you guys kill? Who'd you guys bring into this building and kill? Come on, Adam. Just say it. If you're so proud about it, if you don't care about it, why don't you tell us? How old were you when you brought a girl in here? How old were you when you supported someone who went in here? The only reason why you guys are sitting here now is because you have, at some point, helped someone kill their child, or you killed their child, or you killed your own child. And it's disgusting that you want someone to have the same fate as you as guilt. It's so sad. <laughs> you guys can pretend that you don't feel it, and you can pretend you don't hear me, but we both know it's true. I definitely know you can hear me. It's quite sad. Yikes. Pretty shrill. <laughs> so, uh, what what happened out here that I missed? Some commotion? Yeah, uh, they're just sending mothers in there to kill their babies, so... Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, I understand that... Apparently, I'm 14 are pregnant, but they're ages, and they just assume that. So, it's really disgusting. It actually is sick. <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, they look like smug hipsters, quite frankly. They think it's funny. They look like they're going to get hammered, like, right after this in celebration. They, they probably kind of will, because they want to drown their guilt in drugs and music. It won't work! Well, music is cool, but... You yeah. can't drown your guilt in drugs and music! What's wrong? You feel it! Well, I mean... wrong with music. Right, I mean... But they're just using it to distract Actually, you can't tell. We had a, a jig dancing up here. Just a couple minutes ago. Right, the, uh, the pink pussy hat people will straight up dance in celebration yeah, of, of abortion. That's, they think that will help them. I find that to be uh, kind of depraved a little bit. It's kind of sad because they're going to be dancing when they fill the fire of hell. That's well, I mean, I don't really believe in hell, but I, I've shifted my stance on abortion a little bit since uh, I saw the whole Virginia, uh, was he a senator or a governor? He said that uh, we would have a conversation while the baby is on the table. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That that snapped me into a different line of thinking. Uh, Don't go in there, ma'am. Love your baby. Don't go in there. I am pregnant. I'm so excited. I know you can feel your baby. You feel that baby. That baby has a heartbeat. Love that baby. Saying that Christ was innocent. Nevertheless, bowed to the crowd. Don't pay for to have your child murdered. But the matter is that it wasn't his fault. And uh, there we have it. He's condemned to death. Well, yeah, I don't know. I've, uh... I used to be like an anything goes on abortion kind of guy. I used to be like whenever, however, for whatever reason, just don't give a fuck. Please come well, on. Well, I have a little bit of a, I have a little bit more. Well, how long a, you been in there? And for those who just walked in, don't murder your child. Let us help you. We are here. I'd love to help you. We're following how are you, the Lord Jesus Christ. How are you? you? How are you going to help people that would like to give birth to their kids instead of? Abort. Like, how exactly are you going to help them? We've got that over there in the center. And our church uh, actually has taken babies. So, like, adoption and yeah. stuff like that, okay. Even how 
housing for the mother and uh, the Lord the put that life inside her That's commendable. To be cared for, to be nurtured. So so the, the people that uh, talk out against groups like that say that they lie to the would-be mother and that it's all a bunch of misinformation. Is that... Go in there. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be giving birth to any babies anytime soon, you know. No, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't... Your own evidence, so you can see it. So, you can go in there. They're really nice people. So, basically, I mean, so, so like, so-called liberals, I guess they're... Not too late to come out. Their, their default decision is, like, to abort. So, anything other than that, they think is, like, lies or mis misdirection, I guess. Well, they is. still have the guilt of adoption. If that, you're pregnant, really you are already a mother. They don't know that when they kill their you're baby, already a father. And the Lord has right. called you to love that child. Mothers who have abortion. To raise that what child. is the rate? <laughs> is it, sure to fear God. 50% 50 of people today. get abortions. Yeah, there's a lot of kill each other? Yeah. Kill each other? Yeah. No, 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 like right, that's what I meant to say. This guy's distracting the hell out of me. devil. Satan wants you to be in there to murder your child in cold blood. And I've actually you'll live witnessed and like talked to girls that I mean, talk I, to me about it. I knew the, tran the transgender suicide rate was 40%. Oh, that's really high. Some right? of them have killed themselves. They committed suicide. What is, what is that suicide rate again? For mothers that abort? They have killed themselves. We've talked to people. I can give you names. Have you ever <laughs> well, mothers who died um, after they were in the process of birth child. There's a lot of girls that had abortion that come into our group. And the reason why is because they can never shake that guilt. And that's why I know they're standing up here. But they're actually taking the opposite route and they want people to go through their pain. Because that's kind of how satanic they are. They want people to feel the same pain that I did. You would know how to pronounce it, wouldn't you? Satanic. A mother years ago who, after she murdered her child, I am a pedestrian. Get out of the way. Yikes. Yeah, and, and there was a father who went to a, I think this is the same place that happened, where his child was murdered. And his girlfriend and her wife went to this Planned Parenthood to murder his child, he found out, and he couldn't handle it. So he he drove into that parking lot of the Planned Parenthood and he shot himself in his car. Brutal. So they... So it, it happens. And, and mothers, they have walked in these places and not walked on a lie. Dan Durst. I do a semi-popular YouTube channel called Durst the Worst. I uh, I piss off usually leftists, uh, sometimes, you know, religious rightists, but... Nice to meet you, I'm Isabel. Sorry, I'll nice take you, Normal hand. <laughs> nice to meet you, Isabel. My kingdom I will be done. Please come out of this place of death. Before it is too late. Right, I mean, I remember I'll murder. documenting the Antifa uh, ninja mask guys messing with old ladies out in front of here. Antifa? You know what I'm about? Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you can They're, They dress up like ninjas and they mess with he like right blood. wingers. Really? Yeah. Wow. You don't know about that? But you must wow. confess your sins. Right. Leave this place home. now. Right, it's good that you're it's good that you're as insulated from this stuff as humanly possible. But if you I mean if you look at my channel you can this watch a whole bunch of it. The I know I have so a, many years. I but they decades. Just like we did with just like we did with black people, 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 people for so many years, treating them as property. To be enslaved, tortured, and murdered. And we're doing the same thing to the pre-born today. If he wasn't on such a script, it would be more effective, I think. Yeah. To be tortured and murdered. But think about this. Well, I mean, I want I want them to... When a, mo when a, when a mother wants to be pregnant, then we treat her unborn child as just that. A child, a human being. Not property, but a human being, a person. Right. It's only when a mother does not want to be a mother, does not want to be pregnant, that we say that she's carrying a fetus. 
Or she's carrying something other than a child. A parental child. Do you draw the line just like at any time during the pregnancy or like at 15 weeks? Like, what? Well, it's common sense. It's logic. A human, no matter how we don't throw a fetus shower. No we throw showers for little human, human beings. Little are children. Going, are they refueling on coffee or something? So what do you think about Margaret Sanger's eugenics program? I mean, that's undeniable. That's something I didn't even accept until recently. Clint Barron, do you know what they right. called before? The American Birth Control League. Margaret and they switched Sanger, Sanger to Planned Parenthood because it was more palatable. Look it up, the American Birth Control League. That's what Planned it's definitely factually called. correct. Yeah. Watch the documentary, Ma for 21. It's like how racist, how eugenic Planned Parenthood is. It's always been. In the sixth station, we see created to wipe out the black community. If you asked them all when they had their abortion, they probably would melt down and start getting mad. She got violent with me when I asked her last time. I don't know why it bothers her so much if she thinks it's not a human. If she dances in celebration of her abortion, I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, that's definitely in, in denial for sure. Did is not it's quite sad. I wonder when the other one had her abortion. When did you have your abortion? Because she did what was possible to her. When did well, you have someone go in there and have their abortion? You pray for the ability to know the good that you sit here and think that I'm, uh, that I think that you, you actually wasted your life sitting here every Saturday. Love your baby, man. Love your baby. Yeah, you can't even tell me that you're going to be able to do that. You can't even tell me that you're going to be able to do that. You can't even tell me that you're going to be able to do that. You can't even tell me that you're going to be able to do that. Ma'am, let us help you. The Lord has put that child in your Look at him, he's dancing in celebration of this. Look at this hipster faggot, dude. Oh my god. He's gonna go hang out at like a River West dive bar and drown his sorrows. In between soy, uh, soy saitan sandwiches. Your families know that you support children's last names like Yikes. Your parents are that you support children's Does your family smell upon you? Do they know that you do this? Give us the means to overcome our bad habits. To develop and build upon our good habits. being here. So if someone, uh, are you proud of what they're doing? If I could play devil's advocate for a second, though, like what should be done with people who don't want to give birth? What do you mean? Like, who Plain language. Them? Plain language. If they don't, if they don't want to go into labor, what should happen to them? <laughs> right, so I mean, I mean, like, so you're gonna like strap her down and force her to do it? You're what do you? Whoa. Drag her kicking and screaming? No, like, what do you mean, like, if a girl? If you were to, if you were to outlaw abortion, you oh. would have to do that at least to one, to at least one person. You would have to drag them kicking and screaming against their will, because that's factually correct. That logically follows. There's so many Christians out here. Yeah, it does. There, there are people who are unwilling to have a pregnancy and go into labor. So at least one person would have to be. That is true. I'm not. I'm not saying that that's like morally like above or below anything. But I'm saying that is factually true that you would have to drag someone kicking and screaming against their will to go into labor. They don't. Well, do they go through anything, or are they are they a sentient being? I mean, after their heartbeat starts. Only at seven weeks. Right, but their brain activity doesn't start till like 20 weeks, right? 15, 20, 10, 15, 20? When is that? 15 weeks? I said 10, 15, 20. Yeah. See, so I don't. So I have shifted on the issue, but I don't know exactly where I stand. I, uh, they they stab it in the skull or like vacuum it out or something. Did you see the third trimester? Uh, I did not see them. You can actually go and look those up. Uh, they actually you baby halfway out and stab it. Wowzers! Once again, our Lord. She's like barreled into me like a psycho. Okay. And once again, we have to reflect. 
upon our sinful. So I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. And are, are these pictures of actual, like, yeah. run of the mill abortions really? Or are they miscarriages? Like, let's. Are, are, are they really? All abortions. Are you sure? My dad actually, uh, back in the day, he went behind the dumpster. They lock them now. Her life of her child on her altar of choice. Go in the altar of convenience. The altar of Wowzers. Like pieces. The Bible says in the book of Judges, there was no king in those days. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. That's what we're doing. In this culture, we're doing what, we're, what we see fit. Well, too bad this guy with the uh, body cam or yours truly wasn't here to get that on video. Our own subjective reasoning. I hear about all kinds of things, and I keep saying, like, dang, I wish I was out in front recording that. See, but, these, you know, these people bug me. I don't know what it is their smug demeanor. It bugs me. That they're so cavalier about... Well, they're, they're so casual and cavalier about just, like... A human life? Right, I mean... And they always have this like so many people who they're think they're good. Violent, he just stole our sign. And then you have people they're here right. escorting trolls in to be slaughtered. Which guy? This? You know, the one in the hat. Oh, this hipster. Uh, no, no. We call them soy boys. <laughs> soy boys. <laughs> Do you, hey, you check your white male privilege, dude? You check your white male privilege, dude? Oh, you limp dick, soy boy. Oh, I whip myself for being a white male every day. I'm sorry. Oh, the patriarchy. Oh, I hate, I hate male feminists with a burden. You're going to this place of death, this place of hell. You know about feminists, of course, right? Horrific people. Disgusting people. You have no excuse. No excuse. You have all the help out here. They tell you that, like, that you're selling out. Did they really say that? Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Children that are That's insane. We gotta repopulate the Earth. You see the bloody photographs of the murdered freeborn out here. Right. So you should get a bunch of tattoos. Be a wait. You should be a wastoid at a River West bar. You should bang a bunch of random dudes and have no like sense of consequences of your action. Right. No. You can't say you didn't have. Right. Offered to you. No, don't get me wrong. I spent the better part of my 20s being a degenerate scumbag myself. And uh, I, re I regret that. I regret not settling down and starting a family, honestly. And now, like, all the social connections that I made were with people that were like that. So now I'm, like, I'm alone, basically, because I, I, I started challenging what they were saying, and they all blackballed me, and, like, they won't talk to me ever again. That's when I ask them. Uh, yeah, you didn't have kids or anything like that. They end up lonely in their life. It's true, dude. They're it's old, true. Lonely people. Look at her. She's sitting out here. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Amen. 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 Let me share with you his pain. To zoom in on this soy boy ferret ferret face. Like they always have this like angular, pointy ferret face too. The soy boy bug man. Lord Jesus crucified. Soy boy bug men. Perfect specimen right here. We adore you, O Christ. I do it for Jan. How you do it for Jan? The three hours between Christ being nailed. He brings up 4chan. Meanwhile, leftists have hegemony in like institutions of education. They have the media. They have, you know, many many houses of, of politics. When have I ever logged on to 4chan? I mean, I don't. You can look at my hurt, my search history. I've never. stubborn rebellion to God, the God who created you. How long? For so many years, we have shoved our filth down the throats of children. For so many years, we have pointed our fists to the, in the face of God, of God Almighty. Every day we point our fists at God's face, saying, I want to do my way, not your way. Were you guys at the... Uh... And one day, the cup of God's wrath will spill over. Were you guys at the uh, the Brook... I, I remember you from Brookfield. Or am I thinking of somebody else? The uh, drag queen story hour thing. What do you, what do you guys think of the drag queen story hour? Is that just another rung of the LGBTQ ladder? That's just another putting four year olds in front of drag queens, teaching them about leftist propaganda. Is that just another? They can't they can't account for anything they believe at all. It's insane. 
not to go over that end. If someone were to engage me and be like, why do you yeah, believe this, or sand. what do you believe, I would have... I would have some degree of an answer. You're trying to soothe your guilty conscience of eating you. Yeah, 23 year olds in front of drag queens, yeah! Confusing them about their gender. This is awesome. So weird, man. You have to do this. Because you can't listen to yourself. She is our mother. Certainly that was proclaimed. Your conscience bears testimony that this is. As the end near For so many years, the cup of God's wrath has been filling in our country. It continues to fill up. It raises, the level is raising higher and higher. Every day in this country, we're giving God more reason to judge our nation, to wipe our nation on the face of the earth. We've got to be patient. He's being gracious with our wicked nation. A nation that still has a God we trust in our money, in our currency. A nation that still, still says God bless America. A nation that says in the, in the Pledge of Allegiance, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And guess what? Newsflash. We are not one nation under God. We are one nation in rebellion to God. Another newsflash. There is no justice for all in our country. Evidence right here at this death camp. We have removed justice from the pre-born. And God is judging our nation for our stuff of rebellion to Him. All the violence you say in our culture, all the evil, all the shootings, the violence against the police, all the wickedness you see in our culture, that is the direct result of our rebellion to God. We, for we have taught that it's not a human being in the womb that's okay to butcher children. By Why do the all of you look like this? Are you are you manufactured in an incubator at the SPLC offices somewhere? Is that what this is? You all look the same. It's it's quite remarkable. Because we have taught that's not bug a men. You are bug men. Children by the millions. Because of that. Dude, get off your script, man. Come on. Let me rip these guys. You look like bug men. You look like clones that have been manufactured at the ADL or SPLC offices. Choir boys over here. And they're doing a jig celebrating, like, sucking fetuses out of their twats. What is this? What is this depravity? You could, you could be a totally secular person and find this to be just weird as hell. You get that, right? I mean, I'm practically an anti-theist a lot of the time, but I still think that this is just morally questionable. Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. And yes, Lord, we are here. We will be crucified anew this day so many times in the person of these least of your children, for as you told us, whatsoever you do to the least of my children, that you do unto me. We have learned absolutely nothing from Nazi Germany. What did they say after the death camps were liberated? Never again will, will we allow these atrocities, these crimes against humanity to take place on our watch. But guess what? Never again is happening all over again, right here, right now, in the United States of America. We have people here Doing the same thing, murdering children, escorting children into the slaughter. We have learned nothing from history. We are repeating history right here. History is repeating itself all over again, right before your very eyes. People are justifying their sin. They're justifying the cold blooded murder of children. We are reliving the sins, the crimes of the past all over again. You know, it did used to be safe, legal, and rare. I didn't realize how quickly that changed. These guys are dancing a jig in celebration of it. I didn't even realize that that was where we were at. And that's what, I mean, well, I don't believe in Satan, but I mean, over well over 60 million children have been slaughtered. Secular arguments are way more persuasive than just this protest. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> One day the Lord will require your life of you. One day we plead with you. I'm pleading with you to turn to Jesus Christ today before it is too late. Because one day it will be too late. 
So many people have been on their deathbeds, and then they drew their last breath, and then that was it. And then they either went to heaven or hell. They, they lost, their, their opportunity to repent was over. But everybody out here, so you still have breath in your body. You still have time to repent and get right with God. The 14th and you can use the time you have of in this short life, in the Holy this Sacrament. temporary life, you can At use this it to mock God, you you will Christ put in His face, you and just shake your fist in His face. If this station were introduced to Joseph, that's him shaking a fist, this floppy, just like limp dick, right, limp wristed. And be saved from your sin. Oh man, oh man. If he actually had to defend one of these people coming into the clinic, like against an attack, it, it would not go well. As evidenced by this. Soy boys. Oh my god. Answer for every sin you've committed. So we pray that you and all of you will not face the judgment, the wrath of God that currently abides upon you. We don't want any of you to die and go to hell, no matter how wicked your behavior may seem. We don't want any of you to die and go to hell. I gotta get a coffee. I bet as soon as I leave, it's gonna go down. And we wait. Whoa, what is the deal with this? What is going on with that, dude? This is what they worship. That mask from the Halloween store? You don't have as well of that cue as they do either. Excuse me? This is representing the devil. Right, I mean, there is no devil. If you had a high IQ, you'd realize that the devil's not real, it's just fairy tales. You remember? Yeah, me and my associate and I, we saw you in Brookfield. No, I, I agree that the drag queen story hours, I agree that the drag queen story hours depraved. I agree that abortion is immoral, but that comes from a secular opposing what? Just exposing it, just showing people what's going on, and giving snarky comments on the side. So whatever, whatever that's worth to you. So what makes uh, drag queen story hour and abortion immoral if the devil doesn't exist? To that's a non sequitur. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's denying little kids their agency. It's basically plopping them in front of uh, political indoctrination without their consent. That, that's it. That, that's simple. You know, that has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with the devil. It has nothing to do with the absence or presence of a devil. It's just humans are a little bit whacked in the head who think that you know they they don't know what gender they are. And, What's that? According to you. you? According to my opinion, yes. According to your opinion. Yes. So that means your opinion could be wrong. Sure, why not? I believe in the Bible, which I know to be true, because it has been backed up by archaeology. Human beings wrote that, and their opinion could be wrong, too. Yeah, and said so that uh, Charles Darwin wrote his book, The Origin of Species, and there are thousands who believe him. Okay, so this could all be a solipsistic simulation. None of this could be real. It could all be a joke. It could be a computer program. It could be the Matrix, whatever. I don't know, but my opinion is that Drag Queen Story Hour is a little bit wacko. I don't need Jesus or the devil to know that. You know? Well, I believe it's wicked and immoral because God has said that, it's a, that it is wicked for a man to put out what, what is supposed to be for a woman. That's what drag queens do. They cross dress. That's wicked. Oh, I don't care about that. I, I, I just acknowledge that the surrounding culture of dra drag queens is, is intrinsically sexual and it's like, it's like a drug uh, party sort of scene. And kids don't belong in that, that scenario. You know what I mean? Like they get to, they should be able to make that decision when they're 18 to 21, not like five. You know, like that's that's where I draw the line. Is kids prop or kids being propagandized by adults to spread like extremist leftist propaganda? Um, How about the viewpoint that God is real, God will judge, people will stand before Him on judgment day. I mean, I just, I mean, if God's real, I disagree with God, so. I don't agree with vicarious redemption. I don't think that it's moral. I don't think that vicarious redemption's moral. I think that it's the epitome of passing the buck onto this Jesus guy. Uh, that's why you see Catholic priests diddling kids. That's why you see drag queen story hour in the first place at churches, you know? Because they probably all believe that it's all forgiven anyway, so to me, that's the ultimate immorality, in my opinion. So I disagree with God. Yeah, well, that's not if God exists, I disagree with him. So what? where's my place in any of this? I don't abide by the word of God, though. 
I mean, I... Because they acknowledge in other uh, stuff, like repetitious proofs, which God said that's... The rosary and stuff, yeah. That's not uh, the way he I, wants it. I went to Catholic school. I had to go through the, a little bit of the catechism. I rejected it ultimately, but... Um, I think my mom could tell that I was a secular person from day one. That I, I was like, encourage you to read the Bible. I definitely, I went to, I went to St. Roberts, man. I went to Catholic school. I definitely. Yeah, you saw a uh, Bible that had the Apocrypha and had a bunch of books that didn't even uh, go along well together. There was no harmony. It, I mean, it's full of contradictions. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll read the thing. The Apocrypha in it. I will definitely read the thing, but I'll still find a bunch of. Uh, I definitely won't. The, uh, the teachers were also... The, the teachers were bullies, man. They were uh, throwing out detentions and, and demerits like it was candy. Like, for, for, like, laughing at a fart. They would just, like, throw you into the... You know, like, little tiny things. They would throw you into the uh, detention. Well, I would tell you to go read the Bible and see that Jesus actually uh, tells you to live a different way. Tells What's that? You to turn away from sin. I don't even know. Tell you to live for him. Wearing two different fabrics is sin. I don't know. What is sin? It wasn't a sin. What's that? It wasn't a sin. It was a ceremonial law for the Jews to set them apart from the other people uh, in the world. Because God uh, took them, told them, "You are my people. You will live separate from the rest of these nations. They're even nations." Uh, when they went to the promised land, they were being they were being used by God to uh, judge the other nations that occupied the land because their sin defiled the land so much. The Bible even goes so far as to say the land bounded them out. They indulged in homosexuality. They indulged in murdering their children to Malak. And that's what this place represents. It's pretty deranged. Ay, 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 more of this. Wowzers. I don't think, uh... Do you think Pokemon is satanic? Yeah. Well, okay, I, I used to play... Well, I used to play that game when I was a kid. Whenever you would use an attack on a Pokemon, it would say it's not very effective. I think this strategy, it's not very effective. When you chase people in there, you're, you're using a move on a, on a, uh, a Pokemon of the opposite type. And it's not, very, it's not very effective. The Bible tells us to stand... And we don't base this off of Pokemon. <laughs> Just, I'm using an analogy, dude. I'm, it's not very effective is yeah, what I'm trying to say. that's a video game. Right, it's not very effective. That's a video game. I'm aware of that, and I'm aware of that. We're out here in the real world. You, you believe in Satan, so no you're not. You believe in Satan and God, so no you're not. I mean, again, you can, be, you can come to an anti-abortion stance from a secular perspective, you know? And I think those arguments are more effective. Like this... Bible thumping wingnut stuff don't work, man. And they're laughing. I mean, they're laughing at they're laughing at that thought. Do you understand that? Right. I mean, they're disgusting to pray. They're they're disgusting to pray. Hipster soy boy bug men. Of course, they're gonna laugh at anything that's moral and 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 good. Because I mean, like I was saying before, they're gonna go to they're gonna go to some dive bar after this, like in the middle of the afternoon. They're gonna get sh you know they're gonna get shit faced. And. Uh, they might hook up with a random stranger and it's going to mean nothing and, you know, and they're going to celebrate the fact that they can just vacuum the baby out of their uh, body at any time they want. What well, makes it immoral if the devil doesn't exist or if God doesn't exist? And it's just my opinion. God. It's just my opinion. Okay. Well, it's Hitler's opinion that Jews could be murdered. That Jews were not... Well, he was just trying to protect the foreskins of Germany. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, eh. I gotta get a cup of coffee. I sincerely hope that something crazy does not happen when I'm doing that. They're murdering children already. That's pretty crazy. That these five people here go on. Try, bitch.